Cyberbullying, the use of electronic communication to bully a person, typically by sending messages of an intimidating or threatening nature. When children get cyberbullied, they may feel humiliated, angry, depressed, ill, isolated, overwhelmed, powerless, and anxious. Cyberbullying is more likely to occur between a former friend or dating partner than a child and a stranger, and girls are twice as likely as boys to be victims of cyberbullying. Meanwhile, LGBTQ teens and adults are four times more likely to be cyberbullied as the average person. 90% of kids that witness cyberbullying ignore it. However, 84% of kids report having seen another student stand up for someone else online. It can be hard to tell if a student is being cyberbullied, but some things you will notice is that they may become shy, stressed out, form anxiety, act more aggressively to others, not wish to go to school, skip school, get in trouble at school more often, experience a dip in grades, stop using devices that connect to the internet, change eating or sleeping habits, attempt self-harm, and possibly suddenly start hanging out with a new group of people. Recently, we put out a cyberbullying survey to Emerson students, and we got 103 forms submitted. Here are the results. When we asked how many people have been cyberbullied, 17.5% said that they have been cyberbullied. 48.5% of people have witnessed cyberbullying. 8.7% of the students have admitted to cyberbullying someone. We also asked what people would do if they witnessed cyberbullying, and we had mostly a mix of people who would ignore it and people who would tell a trusted adult. A lot of students here at Emerson think that to prevent cyberbullying, we can teach other people how the power of cyberbullying affects people. Remember, Emerson students, if you're ever dealing with being cyberbullied, you can always talk to our social workers here at Emerson. Mrs. Rogers, Mrs. Rice, Mrs. Odell, Ms. Glass, and Dr. McLean. We hope you can help prevent cyberbullying here at Emerson. Now we are going to interview Ms. Rice, one of the Emerson social workers. Hi, we are here with Ms. Rice, one of Emerson social workers, and we are going to talk about cyberbullying. Hi, Ms. Rice. Hi, thank you for having me. Is cyberbullying a problem here at Emerson? I would say definitely cyberbullying has been an issue in the past when students have used their Chromebook inappropriately, maybe to gang up on or harass another student. Um, but most of the time, we find that cyberbullying is happening outside of the school setting, on students' personal cell phones, during non-school hours. Why do you think people cyberbully? I think people cyberbully because they are still developing appropriate conflict resolution skills, social skills, and emotional regulation skills. And uh, as we know, adolescents' brains are still developing um, and may make impulsive choices when they feel really angry. How often do you help students who have been cyberbullied? I would say I help students probably on a weekly basis when they've seen something that has been mean um, or they receive a text from a friend that they didn't like. Um, when I think of cyberbullying, I'm thinking of something that is a little bit more serious, where it happens repeatedly over time, and it may be more of a, a gang mentality. Um, and oftentimes, we'll work in collaboration with our administration, Mrs. Alimo and Mr. Banka, Mr. Majewski, as well as our school resource officer, Officer Regal. What do you think we can do to pre prevent cyberbullying? I think we could definitely talk a lot more about how to use technology and how to use it kindly um, and continue to learn skills for regulating our emotions. Even adults sometimes will post something that is inappropriate um, because they're really angry or really sad or upset. Um, and I, I feel like if we continue to um, talk about empathy and knowing what that feels like to receive a text message or see something on Snapchat that's inappropriate, um, we would have more compassion for one another and not cyberbully. Do you think it's possible to fully stop cyberbullying? I think so if we are, um, put structures in place um, for technology, um, if um, app companies really work to make sure that they're monitoring what people are, are posting, um, as well as making sure that those people who are cyberbullying are getting the support and help that they may need um, so that they feel they're equipped with the skills um, and maybe being able to talk to someone if they're, if they're feeling in pain. If a student is being cyberbullied, what should they do first? I would say report it. So on many apps like Snapchat and Instagram, um, there is a way for students to report that something was inappropriate. Um, and then the app company is responsible for really looking into it. And that's the first thing that students can do. 
um, but also if it is something inappropriate, um, I would encourage them to show that to a trusted adult. So if that is at home, if it's on their personal devices, being able to tell mom or dad or another trusted adult. If it's on their Chromebook, um, being able to use our reporting tool um, or come to myself, Mrs. Alimo, Mr. Banka, Mr. Majewski, um, and talk about um, what they saw on their Chromebook. Um, yeah. What options do students here at Emerson have if they find themselves being cyberbullied? I think they should definitely seek out help. It feels very alone when you receive a text and it feels like it may be, be coming from multiple sources um, and it feels like you're in it by yourself. So when you surround yourself with a support system, trusted adults at home, trusted adults here at school, and then reaching out to friends as well, that will be helpful. But I also think it's important for students to remind themselves that um, it's not always about them. When they're cyberbullied, it's usually because that other person is taking their feelings and their hatred out on them. So being able to say something positive to yourself real quick, like, this isn't true, this isn't nice, I'm better than this, um, so that they can be sure not to respond back in anger. All right, well, thank you for doing this interview Absolutely. with us. Absolutely, thank you. Give a big thank you to Ms. Rice for helping us with this interview. Thanks.